Okay. I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on this gaming machine that I've built. Here's the box. Here's the back side of it with all your various connectors. And here is the HDMI from the TV into the box. Now, I'm just going to press the power button. Now, the Windows has not been activated, so I'm going to have the um, invalid key, whatever, error come up. But this won't be on the finished version of the box. But here it's starting up. Give it some time, do its BIOS checks. Here's the infamous Windows startup screen. Hopefully, you can see that alright. Here it's going into the front end. So I'm just going to get my wireless 360 controller here. And there we are. And then we go to games. And let's take you through some of the games. So first of all, I'll probably take you through is the uh, Nintendo Wii. Because that runs pretty smooth. Uh, I'll take a popular title like Super Smash Bros. Brawl play this game. There's a Wii Remote. I'm just going to go in game for a second just to show you the speed that is 100%. Solo. And then. Uh, let's do Final Destination since that's a popular destination. And there we are. And just with a click of a button, because I'm holding the camera, it's going to be a bit difficult. But I'm just going to press these two. The game exits immediately. Back to the main menu. And I can load the next game. So. Another title that people have trouble emulating is um, <clears throat> the Sega Dreamcast. So I'll go into that. I'll take a popular title like Soul Calibur. And here are the controls for the game. And as you can see I'm using no DC for the uh, emulator here. I'll just skip that start screen. PlayStation 2. And for this, I'll go on to an um, obscure game called Rumblefish. Not many people know about this game. Oh, <laughs> 
Say the Saturn here. To show you the power of it, I'll show you PC games like Crisis. As you can see, all the qualities is set to very high here.
Come on. 